Now, to be able to express this trigonometric expression in a simpler way, we must first review these rules, what we call the addition and subtraction identities. So here, when expanded, I will have sine A cos B plus minus cos A sine B. As for the second one, I will have cos A cos B negative positive sine A sine B. Although you see here there are two lines thinking that there are only two identities, there are actually four. This is how we read this. If I have sine A plus B, then I will have sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. If I follow the next one, sine A minus B, I will have sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. So for the first identity, you notice that the plus will correspond to the plus here. Minus, he will get minus. As for the next identity, if I have cos bracket A plus B, then I will have cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Then the last one of course is cos bracket A minus B, I will have cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Now how is this useful in the re-expression of a certain trigonometric expression? Well, if you see something like this, A sine theta plus B cos theta, then I will have to go back to any one of these identities to find a good match. So if I take theta to be A, then here I have sine A, I have cos A. Because of the plus, I will take the plus here. So the general form will be sine bracket A plus B. Hence you see the form taken here is sine bracket theta plus alpha. So, if I expand that then, I'll have sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sine alpha. Expand it by multiplying the R into the expression. This first part in the expression is compared to the first part of expression here. So if I take away the sine theta, and the sine theta there, my A will be R cos alpha. So also here, if I take away the cos theta and the cos theta here, the B will be equals to R sine alpha. You see this continue in the next frame. So these are the two equations we had before. Now to condense these two into one equation, we seize on the idea of tangent theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So if I take equation 2 to be divided by equation 1, just like what I have here, the R is cancelled off, sine alpha over cos alpha will give me tangent alpha. So alpha is an angle. To find that angle, I basically just take the inverse of tangent on the length ratio. So we settle one idea there. 
Next, with these two equations, I can also just find the expression of R. So in this case, R must not be cancelled off. In other words, I would not do as I did in the first place, taking equation 2 to be divided by 1. In that, in that way, R was cancelled off. But squaring equation 1 and squaring equation 2 and then adding them up. So I get A squared plus B squared equals to this. F factorizing this expression, the R squared is taken out. What remains in the bracket is reduced to 1. There is a simple Pythagorean identity. Cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha will give me 1. So now I have a squared plus b squared equals r squared. So to simplify it, to make r the subject, I square rooted both sides. Hence you also have plus minus square root of a squared plus b squared. Now, taking only the positive roots, well, previously we were saying the general form to take is R sine theta plus alpha. The R has taken this expression, which we found in the last frame, and this alpha is the angle tangent inverse of the length ratio A over B. This is how from two terms you have reduced it to a single trigonometric term. Why we do this is because it's easier than to solve for the angle theta. But for the purpose of this teaching video, we will just zoom in on how to convert two trigonometric term expression into one trigonometric term. For this expression, sine theta comes first, followed by cos theta, but separated by negative. So I'll be thinking of the first identity. So the general form I want to take is R sine bracket theta minus alpha. So if I want to re-express re this in a more detailed way, then R will be the square root of the coefficient of sine theta, which is A, squared. Then the coefficient of the cos theta, negative B, but I will only be taking the absolute value of that. So B and then square it. Then sine bracket theta minus tangent inverse the b over a b over a you can see this expression a two term tri trigonometric expression is reduced to one term trigonometric expression So for the next one, you have cos theta followed by sine theta. So you need to decide which identity that is best matching this expression given here. So I'll use the general form R cos. If this is going to be a positive, then I have theta minus alpha. The R 
expression is always the positive root of the square of the A and the square of the B. Add it up. Then cos theta minus tangent inverse the B over A. Basically, it is the coefficient of the second term over the coefficient of the first term. So B over A. So you realize that I don't go back to the primitive form to obtain the R expression and also the alpha expression. Basically because if we have shown you how it is to obtain from the primitive step and it has proven to be consistently the same, we just take the form and use it. And the last one, you can see the cos theta comes first, followed by negative, then sine theta. The general form we want to take is r cos theta. If this is negative, that will be positive. So r is replaced by a positive root of a squared plus b squared, followed by cos theta plus tangent inverse of b over a. Now, to add some more meaning to it, if you have gotten this expression and you're asked for the magnitude of the graph, then this will be the magnitude of the graph. And if you're asked, um, perhaps for the minimum value, then you understand that the range of the cost graph is negative two, negative one to one. So the minimum value would be negative of this value, the amplitude. So when you have reduced to such a form, it is easy to extract a lot of information like what we mentioned, the maximum or minimum value or the amplitude and perhaps also when it's equated to a certain value to find theta in the quickest way possible. So we have come to the end of this video. Essentially, the whole video is about given two trigonometric term expression, reduce it using the R formula to a single trigonometric expression.